Good morning. So this is not an advent post. It might should be, but it is just a uh, everyday or normal um, thing to think about. So this summer we went and did a vacation Bible school in Vardaman, Mississippi. And while we were on that um, week, I noticed that two of my girls that went with us um, really loved music, so I asked those two girls to make me a playlist for Life Team, and, um, because I like to use y'all's gifts, and, um, they created an awesome playlist, and one of the songs on there, um, was, um, named Another in the Fire, and it's by Hillsong, and, uh, I had heard it before, and liked it, but, you know, when you get that song, and it comes at a perfect time, so, we were on our way home a couple of days ago. We went to um, we went out of town, and we were riding back in the car, and it was at night, and I was listening to that playlist, and this song just hit um, completely, hit me completely differently than it had before, and um, I just thought I got to share it with y'all in case you've never heard it, and it's called Another in the Fire. It's by Hillsong. And these are the lyrics. I really encourage you to listen to the song because me telling y'all the lyrics is uh, one thing, but actually hearing the song is completely different. It is based on or taken from the story in the Old Testament of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. There was a king that was trying to force everybody to bow to a god, little g, and they wouldn't. They believed in one true God, Big G, and um, because they wouldn't, they were put in a fiery furnace, and when they looked in the fiery furnace, they said, there was three when we put them in there, and now there's four, and the person in the fire with them was God, and they were not burned up, and they walked out, and um the correlation is how many times we have struggles and trials and challenges and we're not alone in that and that God is right there with us. And so here are the lyrics. There's a grace when the heart is under fire. Another way when the walls are closing in. And when I look at the space between where I used to be and this reckoning I know I will never be alone. There was another in the fire standing next to me. There was another in the waters holding back the seas. And should I ever need reminding of how I've been set free, there's a cross that bears the burden where another died for me. There is another in the fire. All my debt left for dead beneath the waters. I'm no longer a slave to my sin anymore. And should I fall in the space between what remains of me in this reckoning, reckoning is a challenge, or a crossroads or a time to change. Either way, I won't bow to the things of this world. And I know I will never be alone. And a lot of times in our struggles, it is a challenge. It, saying either way I won't bow to the things of this world most of the time in our challenge it is a challenge of the spirit and a challenge of the flesh of um I live in this world and I'm challenged by it but I'm not going to let it take me over because there's another in the fire standing next to me there's another in the waters holding back the seas and and every chorus changes should I ever need remind uh, should I ever need reminding what power set me free? There is a grave that holds nobody, and now that power lives in me. There is another in the fire. I can see the light in the darkness as the darkness bows to him. I can hear the roar in the heavens as the space between wears thin. I can feel the ground shake beneath us as the prison walls cave in. Nothing stands between us. There is no other name but the name of Jesus. He who was and still is and will be through it all. 
So what may come in the space between all the things unseen and this reckoning, I will never be alone. And this is the last chorus. There'll be, there'll be another in the fire standing next to me. There'll be another in the waters holding back the seas. And should I ever need reminding of how good you've been to me, I'll count the joy come every battle because I know that's where you'll be. So it's saying in the future, when there's a challenge or a battle or a struggle, count it joy because that is a lot of times where we grow the most and where we find the strength of Christ most is in the fire. And so some people are super happy and excited about Christmas and um, coming and Christ is our hope. And then there's a lot of people that struggle in this time. And um, most of us have struggles every day. And so remember, there's another in your fire and in your struggle. And um, there always will be. And um, I had another point I was going to make. Hang in there. Um, I don't know. Lost it. That's what happens when you get to be 38. Love y'all.